Within a matter of weeks, the Switch will be gifted with what's looking to be an awesome multiplayer Mario sports game. So to best understand where Mario Strikers is going with Battle League, we first have to look at where it's been with Mario Strikers Charged for the Nintendo Wii. Released just two years after Super Mario Strikers, Charged continues the concept of wacky, over-the-top Mario soccer, but from the armored outfits replacing athletic jerseys to the Mad Max aesthetic of the stadiums, it's clear from the get-go that the sequel is going in a much more aggressive direction from the original. Being that the Wii wasn't a high-def console, Charged makes some minor improvements in the visuals. The framerate remains just as smooth, the particle effects have a bit more flair and detail to them, and the audience members are more than just pixelated GIFs in the background. The more noticeable changes are in the art style. Like I said, they seem to be going for more of a Mad Max-like post-apocalyptic theme. Not sure how that benefits a soccer game, but points for creativity on the part of developer Next Level Games. The sound design makes minor changes as well. While character voices are limited as before, the commentator has been completely removed in favor of more intense sound effects such as a siren signaling a game's end. Another way that this sequel gets further away from the sports side of this sports game. In that same vein, the music emphasizes more intense rock tunes over the more sporty music of the original. When you get into actually playing the game, the changes in the presentation become instantly clear. This Wii sequel continues most of the core concepts that made the original so much fun. It's a fast-paced, wacky game of soccer with Mario characters. Yet Charged makes several key changes. First of all, you can now choose three different sidekicks to round out your team instead of everyone being the same sidekick as was the case for the original. This actually matters quite a bit since every sidekick and team captain has their own stats and special abilities. So if you're more of a power shot kind of player, you might consider picking Bowser as your team captain with two powerful but slow running hammer bros and a Monty Mole. Or if speed is more your thing, having Daisy as a team captain with faster sidekicks like Toad, Boo, and Shy Guy might be the best choice. I like to go for the balanced approach of Luigi with Hammer Bow, Dry Bones, and Toad. Once you're on the field, you'll see that Charge Shots have made a return, but this time you can score up to 6 points from them, making this the only soccer game I know of where you can get scores like 20 to 0. Are you out of your mind? Don't freak out, Arnold. This part is thankfully balanced with the new goalie minigame to counter these Charge Shot attempts. Using the Wii Pointer, you have to move it over each ball as it flies at your screen and press A to stop it. So landing the line in the green or orange parts increases the speed of the balls. Not only is this whole thing thoughtfully balanced, but it's also another way to get the player engaged in the action instead of trusting the AI-controlled goalie to always be good at blocking shots. In addition to all this, there are a lot more crazy items to use and some stadiums actually have their own effects. For example, one field actually has intense winds blowing objects around that can knock you off the side. I couldn't believe that I could actually fall off of a Mario Striker stadium. Or there is the Lava Pit Stadium that has occasional fireballs fall from the sky, thus creating a real hazard for players. It all feels like a natural and really cool evolution of the Mario Strikers series. Unfortunately, Charged is a case of a game making new improvements, but at the same time adding new problems. The ball works in this charge mechanic where it charges to move faster the more you pass it around. This leads to annoying parts of teams passing the ball all around just to charge it. So you get games of let's pass the ball in circles until it charges up enough for someone to kick it into the goal. It ends up being less fun than the mechanics of the original that encourage dribbling the ball down the field and placing a kick to a teammate who can sink that ball into the net because the kick itself was strong or quick. The only way to stop these pinball marathons is to slam your head into a rival player and take the ball. Now I will say that it's a cool idea to have shaking the Wiimote be what triggers an attack and it's one of only three things done with motion controls in this game with most of the controls being the regular buttons. So at least motion controls don't overstay their welcome. It's also good that each character has a counter to head on attacks, usually where they jump out of the way and throw a punishing move on the attacker. But the design encourages too much attacking. Bots in particular love to abuse the attacks, especially at higher difficulty levels. It can easily quickly devolve into a headbutting mess. It makes tournaments more annoying when you have to get through 6 or 10 qualifying rounds to get to elimination rounds and if you lose one elimination round even by one point, you have to start the whole cup over and deal with more bots headbutting you constantly. It started to feel less like a soccer game and more like Super Smash Bros. But admittedly some of you will probably like that. Unlike the original Mario Strikers, this Wii sequel is much easier to find at a decent price online. Most used copies are available for anywhere from $15 to $35. While its flaws did make me miss playing the original game, 
These prices are still appropriate for this game given the positives it has. If you're a Wii owner looking for more multiplayer mayhem on your system, consider dropping $30 for a copy of this game. And for my fellow Switch owners out there, I'd say this adds to the hype of Strikers Battle League. Well, that's my review of Mario Strikers Charged for the Wii. Tell me to produce more videos like this, please support my Patreon page. Special thanks to my current patrons here. Remember that supporting my Patreon page gives you credit at the end of my videos as well as access to my flagship videos a whole day early. Also check out my previous reviews of Super Mario Strikers for the GameCube and NFL Blitz for the Nintendo 64. See you all next time!